Hello and welcome to this weekend's chart analysis video. My name is uh, Derek and today's date is Saturday, the 22nd day of March 2014, which means here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's now spring, one half year of more sun than darkness, and the opposite is true, south of the equator. In this video, it will be charts on silver, palladium, and looking at the three commodities that I talked about last Sunday, but before I do, Something I don't do too often is a channel recommendation. This is also off topic. And the channel, Felipe Alexander. I've been subscribed to this channel for the better part of six years, going back to 2008. His channel is mainly reflected towards natural healing, natural health. And I know it's off topic to the economy, silver, fiat currency. But I do realize there is a lot of people interested within this information. There's also three giveaways. If you're interested, the link to the channel is in the more information box. Go check her out. So check her out, not her, but her, her, her. Okay. Silver daily, which is what we're going to be showing. Moving it on to palladium. I don't want to go. I'm not going to go through too too much on these charts, but just the key details. Failed move, fast move. Failed move is where it goes in the direction that it's not going to later on. Meaning, this is a possible failed move where it breaks higher, but the next thing you know is probably going to come down here. Or, or this is the failed breakdown, which means it's probably going to break this resistance and at least go to the low 23s into the low 24s. I don't know which one is going to be the failed move, but when... Uh, you have this rally. What I've been stating is establish resistance as step one. Okay, step two, find support within the bands. That's check mark. Step three, make it back up to this level. That did not happen. Instead, or rather, it goes below, finds resistance within the level rather than support in here. At that point, support was established within here. And over the last couple of days, we can see it's breaking through support which means the bias is now towards the downside with the minimum target of this significant Fibonacci level at roughly at around $20 per ounce for the rally from here to here, or either here to here, whatever. It needs to be a failed one. It needs to hold, stay below this level. Also, you can use this running average, which you can see was support in here, but further downside movement would make this go lower. And then, of course, the bias would be towards the downside again. One of these moves is most likely going to create a fast move. One of them will have to be a failed move. And then that time, of course, can only tell which direction it's going to go. But if you are analyzing it, just adjust to the message of the market as each period changes. Now, palladium is a lot different by far. Two-week chart. Well, it's now at levels not seen since. We'll just draw a straight line in here. At levels not seen since in here. Going back to the summer of 2011. So very close to a three-year high. Now, the Fibonacci retracement used is from this high and this low. As you can see, you resisted it in here. More often you test resistance, the more likely you are to be taking it out. And in here, what I need to see for a... Bull move is established resistance, check mark, find support within the band, and this was for a better part of close to a year, finding support within the 18 average, check mark, of course, then come back to this resistance, check mark, and then take it out. Now, it's barely taken it out so far. I do like the uh, pattern where it did find support within the last two weeks at this 18 average band. But it does seem as if it's uh, going to be making a test of this uh, hopper level. Again, silver, palladium showing two different uh, looking charts by far. Something's got to give and we'll see within time. Now, if we adjust the Fibonacci retracement, which we're going to do right now, we're going to use the highs of 11.06 from about a decade ago and the lows of 142.5 from a few years ago. So therefore, we have 76.4 and 61.8%. So therefore, the move has been bullish since, well, 2010, 2011. 
and it's been holding this level very nice. So the shorter term chart says we're probably going to have a test of here, but successful support, successful resistance most likely means a test back at the 1100 area as well. This is of course is a two week chart. It could take multiple periods, something to uh, just keep your eye on, but very interesting that palladium showing a much different chart than silver. Of course, we know how the manipulation factor works. Silver more heavily manipulated by far than this one is. I want to go now to uh, last week's chart. So I talked about three. I haven't updated them, at least not too much. But what I was talking about in here after the large Dow decline, no resistance found here. When you're in the situation where you reverse the trend and you come to this halfway mark in here, then what I'm looking for is either A, a move back here to go long, or a move up here to go short as far as a methodology system. Well, right now the chart action is right down here. So you're about 175-ish or so, 173, you're up about 12, 13%. If, of course, this was a play that was made, if something like that happens and you did go short here, there's no excuse anymore for a losing bet. The second one that I was talking about, and this was one that I didn't like the short on, although it was a very similar pattern, making it up to the 61.8% Fibonacci level. Well, this week, just another one of these movements here, so not much going on there. And the final chart that I talked about last weekend was the natural gas stating either one of these two moves is going to be a failed move. I was also talking about this support level was taken out, so it was looking like a decent short. I was stating there was, you have to have stops well below, above the 453.8 level. I drew a quick chart of this week's action, and I've got these two Fibonacci lines drawn in as well. So let me bring back the, or just bring up the very quick line chart. This was the first Fibonacci. This was where the market closed last week, and it gapped up in here. So let's talk about higher highs, higher lows, lower highs, lower lows. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, lower high. So since this point, how many higher highs or higher lows have we found since here? The answer is one. There's a lower low, lower high, now resisting this point, lower, 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 higher. Higher high in here. When you have a situation on, when you're doing chart analysis where you have one, two, three, four consecutive lower highs in a row and you now make a higher high, well, now you got to look from any past key high, but for this chart, we'll use this one. Well, now we got to get above here, establish a higher low, but no. Failed moves, fast moves. Failed move breaking above this level, fast move has already occurred. And of course, since this point again, lower low, lower high, lower low, matching high, lower low, matching high, matching low, lower high, matching low, lower high, lower low, lower high matching high, lower low, lower high. So definitely in that of a downtrend, but going back to the chart, so price action is a little over 430, which means we go back to where we are now. And so it's pretty much right in here. I'm expecting at least a test within this level. And when it goes down here, I'm still not gonna know what the failed move is going to be, but either this is a failure or would this be? Take care and have yourself a great weekend. Bye-bye.